What's up, my XRP brothers from another mother and my cute XRP sisters? This is Rob with the XRP 007 channel coming to you from beautiful Venice Island. Another gorgeous day down at the beach. Five out of five, but it's getting kind of hot in the kitchen down there. I tell you, we actually had a heat index of something like 107, I think, the, this past week. And the title of this episode is XR. <coughs> excuse me. I <laughs> got a tickle in my throat. Title of this episode is XRP Gearing Up for a 50X Move This Super Cycle. Watch this episode to the end. And uh, as always, uh, thank each and every one of you for following this channel. We're well over 12,000 subs. So indeed, if you are new to this channel, if you would hit these subscribe button to subscribe the bell for notifications, that like button, tap it, slap it, whatever you are feeling for a Friday. The weekend is here. I'm ready to see some price action. How about you for XRP? Uh, and also the XRP 007 proper party here on Venice Island, April 29th of 2025. Tickets are 250 per person and uh, it's for 500 guests and the highlight will be a fundraiser for our vets. Uh, get them when you're feeling like it. Uh, what can be interesting to see once we get over a dollar, how many guys going to start to be feeling like it? Once we get that 2X, 3X, swing to a dollar, dollar fifty, two dollars. When are you going to be feeling it? Comment down below. I'm kind of curious. For me, I'm going to be feeling it at a buck. I'm going to be so excited to get XRP over a dollar again. And also, uh, Raul Paul, once again, up on the YouTube, talking about the summer of golden liquidity. Uh, and it's about to begin. So, yeah. so uh, the, it, And it will. And history repeats itself. Uh, top out in the winter months. So anyway, so the summer fund begins in the crypto market uh, this summer, according to Raul Paul, and it won't reach its height right around the, the end of this year. So um, yeah, and he says the best entry point is this past winter in terms of getting in, but it's still a really great entry point for so many alts as we speak. So, and what else? Uh, this is also happens to be an election year, and I got to tell you, the election year really is what they want to do is prop up the markets to make themselves look good, right? So anyway, so historically speaking, July and August are some of the two biggest months that we have uh, just in terms of liquidity as well and the market's doing great. So look for uh, some action just because of the um, presidential election that's coming up. And also uh, possibly look out for some rate cuts uh, anywhere from a quarter to 75 basis points. That will probably not happen until we get rather close to the elections. Uh, watch Economic Ninja's episode on that. He put a really good insightful one too. And also Emily on Twitter says Monday, May 20th, which is this upcoming Monday, approaching deadline for Ripple SEC to file opposing briefs. And today is one of those magic number days, the 17th. Will we see a settlement in the next two hours and 18 minutes? <laughs> we'll see. Or will it come out at midnight tonight? I'm crossing both my fingers and my toes on that one. And then a price prediction to remember from Pat Riley, the CEO of Reaper Exchange. Uh, and also he will be at that. He predicts that XRP will be $5.40 by June 8th and 9th. That is the Quantum Financial Summit, which I will be attending the speaker at and also the MC on the very first day and that is about three weeks from now five dollars and forty cents three weeks from now once again I'd get down and kiss the ground if we had a five dollar and forty cent XRP by the time this stick that sucker out right there and drive around with it all right uh, will USD X and USDR uh, be the only, oh, yeah, this is a, you know, get you this pop quiz. I need, need you guys to answer on this. Will the Ripple stablecoin, whether it's USDX or USDR or some other name, will we get to find out in June? That's only about less than two weeks away. We'll get to find out the name of what that may be. And that is going to be at the Apex event. I got to look on the dates when the Apex event. Uh, but will it be the digital dollar for the United States? Comment down below. I want to know what your thoughts. I actually saw an insightful video from an XRP holder who's been holding for, got in the space probably back in 2016, 17, uh, crossed the pond over in the UK. He had a very insightful video on that today. Uh, quote of the day comes from Black Swan Capitalist. Pay attention to this one. The road to a $10,000 XRP. Okay, that's kind of the, the highlight of this tweet, and the, and the quote is this: a higher, a higher price XRP is a better vehicle for payments. Works better when it's a higher price, like at a hundred, do you think? 
Uh, that is a hundred thousand, not a hundred dollars. But yes, we will see three digits. XRP Captain says um, the, uh, and the daily time frame is looking a whole lot what we got like on July thirteenth of twenty twenty three, when we got that uh, summary uh, uh, that, that summary judgment from Judge Torres saying that XRP is not a security. And he says, well, if it repeats, expects XRP to break out by the end of the day. And I got to thinking and lamenting that here we are, and we're only about less than two months away from the one year anniversary of XRP. XRP's at 52 cents. Never would have guessed in a million years. And I'll never forget when I did that video, which was insane that day. It was like one of the best days of 2023, by bar none. But in doing that video, and I was just saying, and even the next day, the next two or three days, I came out and said, you know what? From here, it's just blue skies. It's just one way up. And I knew it would come back down to correct some. I didn't know it'd wallow for an entire year. So it's, uh, yeah, um, don't let anybody tell you you're lucky when XRP does finally make its move and you have held this long and decide to take a little profit off the table. Brent, the brewmaster. Brent says that 70, and this was up on Uphold. He shot this over to me first this morning. He said 70% of people buy this on Uphold. I did have a funny thing I was going to put in there, and I said, nah. But anyway, it's XRP. Today, 70% 70, 70 of what people are buying on Uphold is XRP. So when I woke up this morning, I thought, man, it's going to rip. It's going to take off, and it's nice. It is about 52, 53 cents, actually, the last I, I spoke and looked at it. Uh, charting guy up on Twitter says Bitcoin. He sees Bitcoin at 100K uh, uh, is likely by July. So that's just about a little under, about six weeks away from 100K for Bitcoin. We'll see how that, uh, how that does resonate and how that settles. Uh, breaking news, and this is interesting. I don't know if this is just a rumor or a rumor or if this is indeed, I did see a screenshot. Medico is now called Ripple Custody. Uh, saw a tweet of it. Have they officially changed their name? Comment down below if you know something on that, if it is indeed official. But uh, it'd make a lot of sense just to kind of continue their brand building uh, that they're doing. And custody will be one of these key, key areas uh, for um, uh, Ripple and uh, also along with tokenization, along with the USD XRP stablecoin they're going to bring out. Boom, baby! Uh, has my ship come in? You know what I know I'm talking about? I'm talking about on Flair. F assets, F assets launch uh, on Songbird uh, next week's after next week's vote. So I, I guess you know Songbird's the Canary Network, so they will try it over on Songbird uh, before they move it over to Flare. But anyway, does my ship come in? Could we start earning some yield on XRP starting in a week? That one's going right up there. I'm going to be watching that like a hawk. I'll let you guys know what I find out. 24 Hours Crypto said, we're at the last stage before banks adopt XRP. Uh, and then right along with it, I think three things stand in, in before those banks hop in, just dive in feet first is that uh, um, we need settlement, which could happen by the day is out. Wouldn't that be great if I'm right on that? Uh, number two, uh, we need stable coin legislation, which is already out there. We'll see if we get that done and completed. Um, Linda P. Jones thinks it won't happen until November. It'd be great if it's ushered in sooner. It would be a whole lot greater. And XRP USD coin, the XRP US stable coin. I think those three things are in play then we are ready to rock and roll. I'm putting this one up here. I'm going to check them off as they start to happen. Uh, Bank XRP says 2.3 billion in volume in the last 24 hours with XRP. Is something up? It sure sounds like it. We certainly know that the whales have been accumulating. Jake Claver, who will also be at the Quantum Financial System as a speaker on stage. Can't wait to meet you, my friend. Uh, says, look for president uh, to sign off on the SAB 21 today. If so, rest of the dominoes to fall, he goes on to say, uh, and like um, rush in, and after he does sign that, he thinks that we will actually rush in stablecoin regulations. That would be awesome if we can rush it in June, get the XRP USD Ripple coin, XRP coin out in June, and let's party by the 4th of July. 
Uh, comment down below what you think the price of XRP is going to be by the 4th of July. I can't tell you all the number of years I always would say to myself, what am I going to be doing this 4th of July? What beach will I be on this 4th of July? You know, where will we be in terms of XRP holders? I hope this one's going to be different. So uh, to save the treasury, all goes on to say uh, with that, uh, with the uh, the you know, uh, vote on the SAB 21, is also to save the treasury and the markets. He says, but banks have to be able to uh, hold and custody digital currencies. And once again, we need those three things to happen before they can hold uh, digital currencies. In my opinion, I think all three may be instrumental. Is it settlement? They can hold it. And then if we have, uh, you know, do they need that legislation? So maybe all three are needed, but certainly once we have a settlement, we know a couple like Bank of America, they're going to be ready to rip it. Uh, a little TA down by the beach as we end this episode, get down to the last juicy nuggets. This is by DIY Investing, also known as Jonathan Dolly. Uh, he says XRP to break out. And when it does, it's kind of exciting. He says he doesn't think it's going to do this kind of move. He thinks it's going to do that big green candle up to about a dollar thirty. That we go from here, and, and you would think that something's going to be associated, i.e., settlement news with that. That we go from here all the way up to a dollar thirty. I can see it happening because this is something we've been waiting for to happen for almost four years. So yeah, can we hit a dollar thirty? And then he says it comes back to to retest a dollar. Also, in another scenario, even a bigger pump says we could go all the way up and kiss two dollars. Man, I'd kiss it before we retrace down to a dollar. And then his target for this bull cycle is a 50X, which would be a $28 XRP. Say hello to a $28 XRP. I'll be following that one. Yeah, I'll add him up there too. And so that would be oh so sweet. And he says, but remember this, once we hit that target, uh, then we can expect six months later, as we kind of grind sideways, a 8X, which would give us a $224 XRP. When might all this be happening? I said, be still my XRP beating heart. He says, well, in his charts, he says, this could happen, this $28, has it happening right around the end of this year? That's Jonathan Dolly's prediction in terms of his TA, and he's it's awfully, he's been in this space a long time, so he knows his stuff. Uh, 2000, 2017, and this is also to keep this in mind, we can almost time this somewhat precisely. Uh, if. Uh, charts run. They don't have to repeat 100%. 2017 mega pump. It was indeed, I always like to kind of rehammer on this, 80 days is about the amount of time it took for it to go and do that beautiful move that it went up and kissed $3.84. And he says, so uh, from the time that it starts to break out, where you consider that breakout to be, might some may consider it, it's going to be 70 cents. Some are going to be considering it's going to be more like $1.30. I will keep you posted. But once we kind of have that indicator that's broken out, then we can actually set 80, 80 days. So if we were to do it from today, you know, we'd basically be about, you know, right at the end of what, July. It's about 80 days. That's what this has if we historically repeat or rhyme in that. And also, this is uh, speculative pricing. Uh, and just keep in mind, this is not only just a spec market now, it is also a utility market, which I mention you guys also often. So still, between now and the end of the year, indeed, if we have every bank in Japan using XRP, I still stand by my three-digit $100 XRP by the end of this year. That's about a 3X over on Jonathan Dolly's TA. And last but not least, XRP drops says asset managers are coming for this space and coming for XRP in particular as well. BlackRock, Vanguard, and he says once it starts scaling, it's quite exponential. And the reason why is because you can replicate it. It's almost like that fractal and it just gets this momentum going. So they will just all just start to be piling on. And again, what stands in our way from it scaling? Those three things, settlement, uh, stable coin regulations, and also the XRP USD stable coin. I think that's going to be an integral part of it. That'll do it for me, everybody. I'll see you guys in the next episode. Peace out.